Really happy to discuss with you today uh, the results of the 2023 Global Labor Resilience Index uh, by White Shield. Um, you know, and I take it from obviously a labor, you know, labor expert and labor policy making, you know, perspective. So when we look at least at the top line results, you know, when you compare the top 10 countries, you know, the regions, um, you know, that perform the best, no particular surprises. Uh, the top 10, of course, you know, dominated by primarily Western European, North American countries. You know, for example, the top three, Denmark at number one, you know, Switzerland, uh, Germany, for example. Um, and as well in terms of the top regions, you know, North America, you know, Europe, at least in itself, um, you know, regions that you'd expect, you know, historically strong in terms of resilience, um, strong labor markets, um, strong business communities, and strong, obviously, outcomes that we've traditionally seen in terms of employment, unemployment, skills development, et cetera. But I think one, one or two issues or two perspectives, you know, that this particular report highlights in 2023 are one, you know, this post-COVID recovery. And we actually see within that a divergence in terms of countries, you know, who are very strong in terms of adaptive labor market policies, you know, for example, that have risen or actually, you know, recovered uh, from an employment perspective and from an unemployment perspective at a much stronger rate you know, than those countries who are less uh, well adapted at um, capabilities, at uh, you know, institutions, you know, et cetera. So we see these two divergent paths. For example, the United States, uh, very strong in terms of adaptive capacities, uh, flexible labor market regulation, what have you, um, you know, I think is bit under 3.5% in terms of unemployment. The second thing, and I think we can actually see maybe the roots of this, is that we haven't actually seen, you know, since 2018, a convergence in labor rate market resilience from top performing countries and lower performing countries. And we obviously know that one aspect of that is institutional development. Obviously, top performing countries have institutions that are you know, able to make, you know, um, uh, implement and actually adapt, you know, policies depending on situation, and obviously, which is a critical component to resilience. Um, and that it's quite difficult um, for countries maybe who don't have those capabilities to to catch up. And we see that, I think, a bit in terms of the post-COVID uh, recovery rates. Uh, so for me, as from the labor policy per making perspective, you know, those are two insights, I think, within this year's GLRI um, that I think different governments, international organizations, and experts can take away with.